That was the first time I was ever blocked. And I didn't know. So, or I didn't want to accept it. I Googled, I was like, what does it mean when it's pending out of nowhere? The first, like in bold on Google, it means you blocked. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> My name is Lula Bell, and I do a variety of videos, so go ahead and surf through my channel. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a story time. This is long awaited. I should have been done this. I'm finally getting to it, but it's like this is story time I hate home. Okay, embarrassing, like tantalizing, like just a lot of things going on. So before we get into it, y'all should follow my socials. And yes, now let's get into the video. So this story time is about how I found out that the guy I was crushing on was dating my friend. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know. So this is how it goes. We're gonna call him Jalen because I'm proud to say I've never messed with a Jalen, so I'm good. Background on Jalen. The first, so I, I usually, all my life I went to a private school. When I moved to Texas, that's when I went to a public school, a public high school. I came down here when I was in, about to start my 10th grade, so my sophomore year. And this is when this all happens, by the way. So literally on the first or second day, I'm in class, my English class, because that's the class I had with him, Jalen. And he just started singing the Minion songs, you know, like, ba, 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 na, ba. And he, as he's singing that, he slowly pulls down his pants and like, you can see his butt. He was light skinned, uh, or he is light skinned. So, yeah, that's that's the one thing I remember about him. He wasn't, I guess you say, can say, attractive to most girls. I wasn't really, I don't want to be rude, but I wasn't attracted to his looks right away. Let's say that. He was, he's a very, very funny person. So I was like, OMG, I'm funny. He can be funny. He can be funny together. I started like kind of liking Jalen at the end of January on some like mesmerized obsessed way like not kind of I was thinking you know like how high school crushes go you think about them a lot you see their you have the picture on your window when you when someone says their name you blush when they come in your direction you turn the other way like those type of things yeah so <laughs> I was like feeling him by the end of January of sophomore year and yeah, so I kept that to myself. I was tired of shooting my shot. I was like, every time I shoot my shot, that ball doesn't even hit the, the frame. It doesn't hit the net. It is not nothing but net. It is very much nothing but floor. Nothing but almost hitting people. Like, my wrist game, poor, bad. Or at least it was then. So I was like, I'm done. I'm done shooting my shot. I'm done. And now, one of the rare occasions, I had a guy friend at the time and he was a mutual friend with Jalen and he knew of my feelings and he was like bro you should just tell him you should just tell him and I'm like I am tired of telling okay if you want to step to me DMs are very much open I am very much open and he was like nah girls should do it I really be here and seeing girls do it and I was told that a lot at least sophomore year by dudes and I feel like they're always setting me up for a failure for failure because I also had another guy friend, but anyways, I feel like they're always setting me up for failure because it's like, you may not hear about a lot of girls doing it, but it's getting done by girls. Like girls often do shoot, your sh shoot their shot. Maybe just not with you, baby. I'm getting off topic, but basically he was like, you need to, to just tell him, etc. Now I always research dudes. I have to research dudes to one, know what I'm getting into, and two, make sure I am not disrespecting anyone aka your girlfriend or maybe your crush or maybe anything like i'm not trying to 
torment myself into something that can never happen, you know? So I was in my research and I was asking any and everybody subtly. Loki probably did end up going back to him. I was asking everyone and anyone subtly and they were like, no, he's not dating anyone. No, I haven't heard of him dating anyone in a minute. Like no one could even tell me who his ex was. So I was like, okay, that means it's clear. It's good in the open. Now. So finally, like maybe the first week of February, I got his Snapchat from my friend, a very good friend of mine. So that happens and I'm like, hey, He's like, hey, and I'm just like, try I'm trying my best to keep the conversation stimulating and just asking questions about himself. Um, he played soccer and just like little things like that. In no shape, way or form was I like, oh, you fine, oh, you this, oh, you that. Like, I was just trying to have a conversation, can't cap, I don't. One, it's not easy for me to text dudes because dudes are very weird, especially in the beginning. And a lot what was a very much big culture at my school was so many dudes had the idea that if you approach in them then you're shooting your shot like bro i'm just trying to be your friend like he was being dry i'll be like oh so what's your favorite sport soccer um how was you know school good like these one-worded answers he wasn't trying with me so it was just very hard then i lit it was only two days two days <laughs> expired like an expiration date so the next day it was still so weird like there's no cap in my rap i am being so serious this is exactly how it went down my mom had ordered pizza and i love pizza and i posted it on my snapchat and i sent it to my streaks and you know when you like send it and post you like s plus s that's what happened and in my head when we were texting i was like what if i accidentally said i'm a snap you know and put streaks on it and then we started streaks like that because he's like oh is that streaks let's start and then that actually did accidentally happen like so i sent it to him and i was like oh no harm no foul like no harm no foul because it was a streak of a pizza it's on my story like could possibly go wrong what could possibly go wrong <laughs> everything so after i sent that he was type he was he was like did you send did you mean to send that to me and i was like no he said something i can't remember what it was i can't remember if i got the chance to read it but i know something rude i know something rude and i was in my memories because i had the tendency of just looking at myself when i'm talking to a dude so i'm like okay, you a bad b you a bad b don't matter if you don't like you you a bad b like if it goes left you still a bad b still didn't help with my confidence but then well he's typing then i try to go check <laughs> i try to respond he said something and i try to respond and it said pending <laughs> as a professional blocker you would think i know what happens when one gets blocked but i've never ever been blocked before that was the first i want to say the only time but there was only one other time but that was the first time i was ever blocked and i didn't know so or i didn't want to accept it i googled i was like what does it mean when it's pending out of nowhere the first like in bold on google it means you blocked and i was like nah 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 stop that so when i tell you i opened snapchat checked and swiped over my recent opened it checked like at least five times and then i logged out logged in logged out logged in still pending five times i even re i don't i deleted the app got the app again twice still pending start restarting my like girl i was in tears like i was so hurt because dead serious no funny i didn't even flirt like i didn't do anything all i was doing was asking questions now maybe you can say oh she seems a little bit too interested for asking questions trying to build a conversation when you're being dry and you don't have the balls to just say you're not interested or you got a girl mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways i was really in tears because 
I thought it was my fault. I was like, what could I have possibly done? Like, I literally didn't do anything. Was it something I said? Was it because I'm weird? What, like, I already know I'm different from Texas girls. Like, I'm from the Bronx. What do you want me to be? And I, I am really aggressive. I know I'm aggressive, but I wasn't being aggressive with him. Like, it was just the beginning, you know? You gotta act nice before you get, you know, mean. Duh. So, I just, I didn't know why he did that. So, after crying, I suck it up. I'm like, you know what? There's, I still have to go to school tomorrow. The world is not ending. The world is still spinning. You just gotta keep it pushing, babe. So, that's what I did. I kept it pushing for that week. Then the next week was pep rally, or a couple days was pep rally. I go to pep rally with one of my friends, and it was usually like the three of us. It was my friend who I'm friends with, and then her best friend. When we go to the pep rally, I'm with my friend. We can call her Venus. So I was with my friend Venus, and when we get to the pep rally, we all were texting each other. At least when we were gonna all sit next to each other. We're looking for her best friend, Venus's best friend, and we can't find her. Then when we, like, we sit down at the bottom of the steps, like the, the last bottom rows, and we're looking for her everywhere. And Venus taps my shoulder, like, during the pep rally. But mind you, our pep rally used to suck. Oh my gosh, suck. She taps me, and she's like, hey, yo, look. We look behind us, and I see Jalen and Venus's best friend. Together, sitting and talking, like, you know, really close, like, giving you very much, mm, right? then oh my gosh then she's like she's like imagine they're dating imagine they talking like just imagine and we're like ah. and back in my head i'm like please no no so that happens and we stay cackling and wackling and whatnot then at the end when we're because we all at least even even though we didn't sit together, I guess she texted that we were gonna walk because it was just assumed that we'll all walk to the bus together. Like us three always used to walk together. At least sophomore year, we always used to walk to the bus together. We were waiting for her at the back doors and she came. I never forget what she said. Her first thing she said, she was like, I'm sorry, I was with my mans. When I tell you the world stopped spinning, I was like her man, her man, and then I started laughing. Oh my gosh, I started laughing like a crazy person. I was having a public breakdown. I was like, her man, <laughs> like it was so. I was laughing to the point where I was getting heads turning. I laughed and I didn't stop laughing. I laughed to the point where someone from the bus that I rode, someone who I rode the bus with, a friend of mine at the time. When she came, Venus was like, please walk her to her bus. Walk her to the bus. Because she's acting a fool. And I was like, <laughs> okay, see you girls later. See you girls tomorrow. I laughed. And then when I got on the bus, I started like um, stomping on the floor with one foot like I was a pastor. And I was like, just what I needed. <laughs> was going bonkers so and then another dude who thought this was funny on the bus he started copying me and then we was just all, then everyone on the bus became loud for a second i laughed all the way until the bus stopped home like until the bu bus dropped me off and that's at least an additional 10 minutes so yeah I, that's how i found out that my crush was dating my friend at the time but it gets better literally the next day the next day venus's best friend wanted to show her man's off to venus because you know they're best friends and whatnot like she needs her approval or something like that venus and i had chemistry at the end of the day so we're walking down the stairs we're talking enjoying ourselves and as we're going down the stairs we see venus's best friend and Jalen standing there when i my heart started doing that stuff and i was just like oh my gosh I can't go down that way, but actually I just didn't know of which other way to go at the time because I was still new to the school and there was it was really big or it is really big. 
so we're, we're just going downstairs she's like Venus is like don't panic we'll just go down and as we're getting closer I can see Jalen panicking and yelling at Venus's best friend and I could just and they keep looking at me and I'm just like I know he's probably talking about me and I don't know what he has to say but I feel so bad already as is so when we get down there Venus's best friend didn't really acknowledge me um she's just like explaining that Jalen is her boo band and whatnot and then when I so then I just I walked to the bus by myself because I was like I was like I don't want to be here this is weird he blocked me and I don't want to talk to him because why would I talk to him what so when I get home Venus is texting me and she's like now I have to give her a name so you don't get confused let's call her Rose so Rose is like Venus's best friend is Rose Rose Venus told me that Rose felt like I was trying to steal her man's baby I didn't even know that was your man's until right until yesterday really and I didn't know he was dating anyone the way that Venus was explaining it to me it seemed like if I didn't apologize to Rose there would be beef and Rose loved to easily have beef and I wasn't with it because I always wanted to be the peacemaker I always wanted to apologize make things everything better like mm, no set your boundaries everybody and if you're not in the wrong don't apologize to make someone feel better because I definitely was not in the wrong I did not know and obviously I'm blocked so there was no pushing it so and also Jalen was Jalen told um, Rose that I was reaching I was trying too hard da -da -da -da. I had to clear it up with Rose I, I called her that day that was the first time and probably the only time I ever called Rose and I was over here like begging for her forgiveness I'm like please I'm not trying to double cross or anything I didn't know and they really did keep on the deal a lot of people didn't know or so I thought but yeah that was how I got <laughs> played uh, thank you so much for watching my story time and sticking along this far into the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't be scared to leave a thumbs up comment down anything and yeah i hope you have a great day or a good night Toodaloo.